click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, and today's topic is a Laplace transform of a sine wave. Now, we have studied a sine wave or a sine function and cosine functions in a mathematics. Now, but we never thought or we never think about you can solve or you can convert this sine wave or cos wave in any domain. Like we are right now, we are going to transform this sine wave and cosine wave in a Laplace domain. Now, in mathematics, you have a simply a solved a Laplace transform of a sine wave and cosine wave. Similarly, here also we are going to do the same thing, but before solving this sine wave or before converting this sine wave into Laplace domain, first of all, remember one thing the function should be a right handed signal or a causal signal otherwise you will get the result which is infinity or you can say the sine wave can is not able to transform into laplace domain because whenever any function is transformable into a laplace domain which means the product or integration value must be a finite if any function is transformable into a Laplace domain, means the integration of that function is a finite. And if your function is a both sided, then the, maybe you will not get a finite result. So that's what I'm telling you. Just take precaution of this before solving a sine function or a cosine function. Always take a help of unit state function. Otherwise, you will get the infinite results. So, right now also, I have multiplied this sine wave with unit shape function. Now, I have considered the and signal x of t, which is a sin omega t into u of t, where a is the amplitude or a maximum peak value of a sine wave, where omega t, omega is the angular frequency and it varies with respect to time, where this whole part is multiplied with u of t means the function is a causal signal now next one we will apply the definition or we will use the definition of laplace transform because we want to convert this sine wave into laplace domain now so according to laplace transform this whole x of t multiplied with e to the power of st and integrated over the range of minus infinity to infinity with respect to time t now my x of t is a sin omega t u of t e to the power minus st dt now we know that we have studied in most of the cases we have solved this thing in previous videos also unit state is having amplitude one but only when t is greater than or equal to zero what i'm saying a unit state means amplitude is always one if i said only a state then you can write here a this one is replaced by a but right now what I said, the function is, or uh, this whole sine wave is multiplied with the unit state. Means, unit state is having amplitude 1. Now, it varies from, or it is available from t is greater than equals to 0. Equal to 0 means from 0 to infinity, this unit shape is available. And for less than 0, this amplitude is 0. So, this will change the limits of integration. Now, remember one thing. In exams, Whenever unit step value is there, then it is only for to change the value of integration limits or to change the limit values. If unit step is not there, then the value will not be changed. This totally depends on the value of a t. So right now, here I have placed a unit step reason is I have to calculate, I want to calculate a sine function value or I want to convert a sine function value which is a one sided into a Laplace domain. Now, x of s. This any function, any time signal can be transformed into Laplace domain and it is represented by x of s. Now, unit step value I have used and it is having amplitude 1 only from 0 to infinity. That's why I have taken integration value 0 to infinity. And just simply consider this is multiplied by 1, so this function will remain as it is. Now, important one is how you are going to solve sine omega t into e to the power minus t. 
now most of the students facing this type of problems because according to lead this sine function becomes u and this exponential function becomes v and if you use u and v formula integration of u into v then it will become tedious so my suggestion is use a complex function formula a sine theta is e to the power i theta minus e to the power minus i theta upon 2i now in place of i i have placed a value a g so this i or j is nothing but the complex terms now so what i have written sin theta is equal to e to the power j theta minus e to the power minus j theta upon 2j well i have substituted same value over here but here if i compare this theta is nothing but my omega t so i have replaced all the theta by omega t and side by side i have multiplied it with the e to the power minus st so e to the power j omega t into e to the power minus st and e to the power minus j omega t into e to the power minus st these two will be now my two different integrations because we have a minus sign in between them now look at here i have taken minus sign inside this bracket but if i take it outside then this plus sign becomes minus so what else is remaining integration 0 to infinity the product of e to the power j omega t into e to the power minus st with respect to time t and in second whereas the sign between these two integration will be now minus if i take minus sign outside and the next integration is value starts from 0 to infinity e to the power minus j omega t into e to the power minus st dt now in previous video that is in exponential term we have seen the same thing if the bases are same then power gets added and if the power gets added means i am going to take a minus t common if i take minus t common then the inside the bracket will have s minus j omega and in second integration we will get have s plus j omega now just integrate both the function with respect to time t if i integrate it then the coefficient of t is minus of s minus j omega minus of in bracket s minus j omega will be in a denominator similarly here also minus of s plus j omega will be in the denominator of e to the power minus t so look at here after taking integration what you have e to the power minus t s minus j omega is now in the denominator and here also minus e to the power minus t s plus j omega this coefficient that is minus s plus j omega is in denominator now if i take this minus sign outside this bracket then it will become plus but I am not going to take it because if I when I, after substituting this value, you will get the idea why I have not taken this minus sign common. But let's for a sec we will continue this integration by, by keeping this minus sign in the denominator side. Now, first of all, substitute upper limit and then we will substitute lower limit. If I substitute upper limit in this part, then what we will get? This t will become infinity infinite into any value is always infinity so e to the power we have minus infinity then we'll substitute a lower limit so minus of lower limit is zero zero this t value becomes zero zero into everything is zero so we have e to the power zero now as i told you in previous video also e to the power minus infinity becomes zero whereas e to the power zero is one so we want you will get zero minus one minus minus sign gets cancelled that's why i have not taken the minus sign in the numerator part or I have not multiplied this minus sign over here and now or at this stage this minus sign will get cancelled you will get a 1 upon s minus j omega but what about another side we have to do the same thing again here the upper limit is infinity lower limit is 0 so minus a t this t is replaced by infinity and then afterwards it will be replaced by 0 e to the power minus infinity is 0 whereas e to the power 0 is 1 the same thing minus minus will become plus so what else is remaining 1 upon s minus j omega minus 1 upon s plus j omega will be the next part now so as i told you what else is remaining inside the bracket first of all outside the bracket we have a upon 2j omega now 2j is the part which is coming from the sine functions that of our formula of sine functions a complex function a to the power j theta minus e to the power minus j theta upon 2j that 2j is the constant part that i have taken common now inside this bracket we have 1 upon s minus j minus 1 upon s plus j just cos multiply these two forward values so this s plus j will come over here this s minus j omega will come over here now look at here 
here we have minus sign in between them. If this minus sign is multiplied inside this bracket, this s will become minus. This two s will get cancelled. Whereas this minus to the minus will become twice. And what will get? Twice of j omega. But look at here in the denominator. We have s square plus a square. Now in the mathematics we have studied one formula which is now whenever we want to multiply of complex terms where in first case the imaginary term is having positive sign whereas in another case we have a negative sign then product of these two is we know that one formula a plus b multiplied with a minus b the resultant is a square minus b square right here my b is i and b so of course we'll take the square of both the sides now we know that the square of i is always minus one so minus minus become plus what do we get a square plus b square but in this part your imaginary terms are value will be removed i have used the same concept here also here we have s minus j omega where the j is nothing but my imaginary term right now here i have considered i so here we have chosen a j in second part we have s plus j omega now if you multiply these two values what else you will get s square plus b square where i is will not be there so that according to this my s c is a and b is my omega so what you will get s a is my s so a square we have so that's why i have written s square in the next part we have b square that is this will be a omega square minus sign will not be there now next part now look at it now this whole term is multiplied with the 2j if look at here this 2j 2j gets cancelled then what will be meaning a into bracket omega upon s square plus omega square and this is the transformation of the sine wave into a complex domain or else you can say a laplace domain now if the amplitude of sine wave is changed if it is a 2 then simply replace this a value by 2 if it is a 3 then simply it is replaced it by 3 now if it is a 3 then this will be a 3 omega upon s square plus omega square now in our question suppose it is mentioned a sine 40 the omega value is 4 what you are going to substitute in this formula and which term will be replaced this omega value will be replaced by 4. So what else will you get? What you will get? 4 upon s square plus 16. If we have a function sin 2t, then omega value is 2. So of course, replace all the omega by 2. So this formula will be 2 upon s square plus 2 square becomes 4. Just don't think about a because a is the amplitude of sine wave. And most of the cases, a value is given which is a 2 or 3 or anything but if it is not given then consider the amplitude of the sine wave is 1. Now then in next videos we will solve the next elementary signals. We are going to transform remaining elementary signals into a Laplace domain. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.